Welcome back, ladies and gents. It's our 100th episode. Woo! And thank you to Kyle for all that amazing confetti you cut for me this morning. As always, we're going to bring you some of the most interesting stories of the week, whether they're good, bad, or iffy, because news happens. On today's show, why will the Bronco Sasquatch remain elusive until 2022? Did Maserati tease a snowmobile? And what's the story behind this modified Unimog? I'm Tiffany Stone, and this is Haggerty's Daily Driver. Let's buckle up. It's Monday, so we might as well get the bad news out of the way. The Ford Bronco isn't coming. Well, not by springtime anyway. Due to COVID-19 related supplier delays, Ford's initial delivery target for the Bronco two and four door models will now be pushed to next summer instead of spring. And for that manual transmission Sasquatch version, we, the people petitioned for and got, expect that to arrive for the 2022 model year. Hey, it's still a change.org dream come true. We just have to wait a little longer. For you procrastinators, also pushback is the deadline for order submissions. Instead of opening today and closing on January 31st, reservation holders will now have between mid-January through March 19th to finalize their build, price, and dealer locations. If there is some good news for those of you who actually wanted the Bronco Sport, and early reviews do say it's excellent, those models are unaffected and arriving in dealerships now. But the rest of us are crossing our fingers for the summer. Speaking of dreams, Maserati posted to the gram a low-key rendering of its new MC20 Super Sports car. The MC12 successor was announced in September and we've already got the will they or won't they design carrots dangling over our social media feeds. In the images, the MC20 concept is referred to as a snowcat and like the pet name, is apparently turning Photoshop snow into Photoshop sports car slush. Exterior modifications include a little lift kit, studded winter tires, and a roof rack. And the interior is fashioned like a tasty orange creamsicle. The real-life mid-engine MC20 is outfitted with a twin-turbo 3-liter V6. Output is 621 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque. Transmission for the rear-wheel drive sports car is a dual clutch, and 0 to 62 takes less than 2.9 seconds. As for the Snowcat, it's a fun and timely what if from Maserati's vehicle customization department. Now for something a little different. I bring you the T-Stone approved build of the week. It's where I share a favorite build that definitely gets my stamp of approval. In the world of off-road fabricators, there are a few names that come to mind, but I always think of Kenny Hawk from Hawk Designs, who's been in the business for the last 13 years. Now, he's been showcasing some of his insane builds, including a 1947 a Dodge Power Wagon that shoots fire out of the 8-inch stacks that are cab height. For one of his latest builds, Kenny teamed up with Bill Stein to create the ultimate modernization of a classic German off-roading icon, the Mercedes-Benz Unimog Doka 416. This rare Unimog is the true definition of a Restomod. It's a unique and versatile off-road machine with an upgraded Bill Stein suspension and shocks. Plus, it has amazing grade climbing capabilities due to its 47-inch tires and custom bumpers. The MOG also features a snorkel, portal axles, a 2-inch roll cage, low gearing, and a diesel power plant. Hawk Designs redid the dated interior with TMI seats, autometer gauges, a Boss audio system, custom grab handles, and shifter knobs. Now, question is, would your head turn if you saw this thing driving up Moebrim or even down the road? Let us know in the comments below of what you think about this build. It's time for Did You Know, the segment where we share a fun fact about the automotive industry. This week, we're featuring something very pink that also gets greener every year. It's the most valuable Hot Wheels ever produced, and it's a VW bus. The rarest of the rare, this prototype is currently worth an estimated $150,000. Now, when VW and Hot Wheels collaborated on the Beach Bomb VW bus, it was no doubt visually appealing but its narrow body and prop surfboards hanging out also made it unstable, and so the model was redesigned. Now, the redesign went into production, and as far as the prototypes, they were kept at Hot Wheels headquarters, making them a rare find in the outside world. Only two exist, and collector Bruce Pascal has owned them both. He sold one to a friend, but of course, kept the most pristine version for himself. 
He started collecting after he rediscovered his old die-cast cars in a cigar box back in 1999. Today, his collection consists of 7,000 pieces of memorabilia, but that little pink van is his most prized. But he doesn't lock it away in the basement safe. No, he gives private tours of his collection to other Hot Wheels enthusiasts and has loaned the model out for displays at museums and special events. Maybe I should uh, dig into my old toy box or something at my parents' house, see what I got. Oh, sorry guys. That's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow for more of the top news stories, but until then, stay safe and keep driving.